Hey there, Nimbus Nation. It's your boy, Young Slick, aka D'Angelo. It's your boy, Michael. Hey, Nimbus. We have an opportunity for you today to change someone's lives. The human service class is collecting generally used blue jeans for less fortunate teens. This program is ran by DoSomething.org and the famous clothing brand, Air Apostle. All you have to do is bring your blue jeans that you do not wear anymore to room 150 by February 15th. Trust me, man, someone out there will appreciate your willingness. The Contemporary Choir will also be selling Valentine's singing grams all week. The cost for this, for a song for your lover, is only $3, and it will be performed this Friday, February 13th, during 5th and 6th period. Seniors, class of 2015 signature shirts may be pre-ordered through next Tuesday, February 10th, with Mrs. Gallimore in room 228 before and after school. Most days except Tuesdays and Fridays after school. The cost is $12 for a short sleeve t-shirt with and 15 for a long sleeve t-shirt with double XL, triple XL, and quadruple XL, costing two, three, and four more do dollars, respectively. Turn your money in order from as soon as possible. Also check to be sure that your signature was correctly done on the note card and your information can be released. Seniors, if you missed the class meeting during fifth period last Thursday, January 29th, Please stop by Ms. Gallimore room in 22A between classes before or after school to pick up your senior uh, awards slash prom awards nomination forms. These forms will be turned in directly to Ms. Gallimore in room 228 by Friday, February 13th. Listen, I have this PowerPoint for you guys for the upcoming next year classes for business marketing and finance courses. This will show students what classes they should be taking for the upcoming year. For ninth graders, we have retelling and e-telling. For 10th graders, we have sports and entertainment marketing and or entrepreneurship. 11th graders, we have marketing and dynamics. And for seniors, practicum and business, uh, marketing and entrepreneurship. Go. We recently had a lockdown drill that was not very successful. Some teachers and students did not follow the procedures for the lockdown. There were classroom doors that were unlocked, students in clear view from the door. Some were even sitting in their seats talking. A few teachers kept on teaching and other classrooms followed procedures, but there was too much movement and whispering if the lockdown was real and there was a threat inside the building. The bad guys will be listening to for any kind of sound. This cannot be stressed enough lights out. Move away from the door and complete Please silence. silence. There will be another lockdown coming very soon. Whether or not it's a drill or it's the real thing, we need everyone cooperation. Attention all hardworking students who are interested in joining water polo. If you want to learn more about the sport or just get involved, stop by the library Tuesday, February 10th for the water polo meeting. Parents, we are encouraging you to come as well. Hey, man, shout out to our bowling team, bro. Woo! Go out there and support our family, man, for the next uh, match. This Saturday, February 14th versus Winston, 9 a.m. at ITS. It'll be the last ditch match of the season. Students, give that special someone gifts Flowers this week for Valentine's carnations will be sell on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before school outside room 228 and during all lunches in the cafeteria for just $1 per flower. Get your carnations early before they are sold out by Friday. Seniors, your senior breakfast awards, prom, king slash queen, senior song, and graduation line leader nominations forms are due to Ms. Gallimore this Friday. February 13th, please drop off your forms to room 228 before or after school or even between your classes. Be sure to make sure that your written name at the top of the form and it has clear and is legible filled out so you can turn it in. Ole, 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 ole. Congratulations to our boys varsity soccer team last Friday for their continued winning streak in the District 9-6-A with one nil victory over Jesuit. Soccer, uh, the goal scorer for Nemes was Justin Zavala, assisted by Kevin Garcia. Goalkeeper Diego Reyes, I mean Reyes, um, combined with the defense to keep a clean sleet. Our JVA team also defeated J Sweet 1-0 with a long goal by Odzeri Hernandez. Our next game will be today, Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. versus uh, Irvin, versus Irvin at, at Irvin, what? Uh, Irvin, and this is a huge rivalry game. Nimitz is in first place in the district and has not given up any of the goals in district play. Meet three kids who are just like you, except they have blood cancer. They talk about what it's like to get treatment. 
Some of the side effects of chemotherapy were losing your hair, no energy, and your immune system was a lot lower, so it was easier to get sick. Chemotherapy used to make me throw up every about 30 minutes. Chemo messes with my taste buds too. Don't, ever, don't ever eat your favorite food while on chemo. You'll never want to eat it again. I lost my hair three times, so it fell out and came back frequently. And I wore a ball cap a lot when I went out in public or really any kind of hat, and I had two wigs. I did not enjoy wearing the wigs because they were hot to wear and kind of stuffy and not really fun to put on. <laughs> Nowadays, when my friends compliment my hair, I don't disagree with them. I just say, I love it too. My hair falls out all over the place and get, makes a big mess when it comes out. Um, we used to use tape to um, pull my hair out until I suggested a lint roller. Two weeks after starting chemotherapy, my hair began to fall out. This was the part I was dreading the most. I decided to go wig shopping just because I wanted some kind of comfort. Ever been in a photo booth? What? Have you ever wished to take a picture with your friends in outer space? Yeah, man. I, or take a picture with your sweetheart on the beach. But if you have, we've got an opportunity for you. Starting today and continuing tomorrow, the Nimitz Viking View team will be setting up Nimitz's very first photo booth in the cafeteria during all lunches. If you want to immortalize your, your likeness in photo strip, 4x6, 5x7, or even a nice large 8x10, we can do it for you. But wait. Where does the outer space park come in? We're glad you asked. You could pick up any location that you want from our selected backgrounds. With the Photoshop skills that we have learned in Mr. Walker Low class, woo woo, then we could easily put you on, you and your friends, in pro uh, provided locations that you choose. Pictures will start at $2 for a photo script, and that'll be all the way from through this Friday, just in time for Valentine's Day. Signing out, it's your boy, Yonsley, AKA D'Angelo. And Michael. We just have signing out. Have a great Stand day. for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence.